What's up guys, it's Edge, and in the background you'll be seeing a Battlefield gameplay that I recorded today. But uh, the commentary is not going to be about the gameplay. It's uh, actually going to be a video response to iPone Star for Hire. I think that's how you uh, say his name. He's part of the Machina, Machinima Network, and uh, the link will, to his uh, channel will be in the description. Um, so basically I just found his channel today, and he was talking about, in one of his recent videos a new earth that may have been discovered and I thought that was pretty cool he said go ahead and make a video response if you want so I'm gonna take him up on that and uh, so yeah apparently there's this new there's a solar system something like that that we found 42 light years away and there's some earth thing on there um, it's like the same distance from the Sun as we are and it's like seven times as big as the earth but it gets around the same energy from the Sun so there could be water and all that stuff, and they're not really sure yet, but they're just like looking into it, um, that that sort of thing. And uh, so in his video, I Pwn Star for Hire, um, he talked a bit about um, like what would happen if we did find that to be habitable, and uh, if we tried to get people over there. And uh, it's pretty far away, 42 light years. I mean, if we could get a spaceship to go 42 like to go like at the speed of light because I know we've done that with planes but if we could get something to go the speed of light in space then we could in theory bring people over there in their lifetime and then inhabit the place so that's a, I think a really cool thing to think about and uh, even if we couldn't get it, get it to go like the speed of light we could have like people on the ship that just live there and then their offspring would continue to run the ship until like a hundred or so years later when they get there. I'm not sure if that would be as, um, you know, attractive for people to go because you're stuck on a ship for the rest of your life and then you die, you don't even get there. So that'd be kind of, I don't know, wouldn't, people wouldn't volunteer for that as much. But anyways, he, he kind of talked about, would you want to go there? I mean, yes, I think I would. But a lot of what he talked about more than would you want to go because I think most people are curious about it and uh, human nature is to have that curiosity but he was talking a lot about you know if people will try to inhabit that how many wars would come as a result and we're talking about like inter intergalactic like Star Trek stuff like what if we had like wars with same countries on our planet, but what if they occurred in space, like trying to take over this other planet of ours to get the resources and whatever? And I mean, you see all these movies and read all these stories about aliens coming to Earth for our resources, but really, this way it'd be working the other way around. What if there's other life forms on there, intelli intelligent life forms on that planet, and what if we're just coming to be the jerks to them and taking their stuff? And I think that's more of the point of view that he had on this um it's a point of view that i have and he also talked a little bit about like you know about religion and stuff how that would conflict how people would be mad and stuff well personally i am religious um i'm a christian and so for me it's it's not really i don't know if there was other life forms on there i wouldn't see it as unreligious. I'm not sure really where he's coming from that. I guess because God created us and that was supposed to be the only thing, but it never says that's the only thing. I mean, definitely he made the universe. He made the whole thing. They didn't specify, like, in a Bible about that, but they did say that he made the universe. So, you know, my feeling is that he could have definitely just made this other planet for us to discover later and to use. Um, whether or not there's other life forms on there, intelligent life forms, you know, that that could create a different point of view. But if there's, like, animals and stuff, I don't really think that would conflict with with religion too much. Now, what I'm really curious about is, is there going to be, like, plants and stuff, like trees? I mean, that's a pretty cool thing to think about. Like, everything on there could be similar but different. Like, they might not have trees. They might have something completely different. Like, instead of having green cheese, what cheese <laughs> instead of having like green sh trees what if they had like i don't know like yellow trees or like purple trees i don't know i mean think about it you could have different like elements different resources on there completely completely different from earth 
and that could lead to you know new discoveries for cures of different cancers and whatever um different things like that so i mean my mind was really blown hearing him talk about this it sounded so cool um but then he did bring up the idea of war and how destructive that could really be and i think he's spot on with human nature and i feel like it would be very difficult for us to you know just deal with each other trying to get on that planet and uh trying to use the resources fairly fairly and also would we treat the resources right because we've kind of started to sap the resources out of our own earth faster than it can gain them back and so i don't know it's a very it's a very confusing thing to think about it's kind of like one of those things you think about it too much your head starts to hurt and uh I don't know, I, I think it's very cool, especially from someone who likes stuff like that, like like FDL, that game that's faster than light, whatever, um, that came out. It's kind of like that, it's kind of like Star Trek, Star Wars, whatever, you name it, all that stuff. It's pretty cool to me, and I'm sure it's pretty cool to other people, so I don't know, I, it's, very, it's very cool to think about, but also, if you think about it reasonably, it could create a lot of problems, so I, I have to agree with him on that. Anyways, I just wanted to uh, mention that. Uh, yeah, you can go check out his video. He had a lot of good points on it as well. And so, yeah, thank you guys for watching. See you in the next one.